This is News Center at 5. We have a couple of guests here in the News Center kitchen with us, as you can see. Chef Michael Roos to the far end here. Grew up in Old Orchard Beach. I did. Got your culinary degree right here in Maine at what's now Southern Maine Community College, right? And then and then you moved to New Orleans. Moved to New Orleans, Louisiana. And you worked with Emerald Legacy at his yeah. flagship restaurant, NOLA. Worked at NOLA, worked at Emerald's, and uh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you may have seen Mike featured in Portland Magazine's Summer Guide. They did a big spread on him. I don't know if we can get a quick shot of that, but after he was featured in the magazine, the uh, organizers of Harvest on the Harbor tracked him down and uh, brought him back yeah. here brought him back here to Maine. And we also want to introduce uh, Will Barrio, who you uh, are uh, head of the culinary program at well, CC. I, I, I've been there 26 years. I just stepped aside as department chairman. We have a new department chairman now. Uh, and, um, Are you still great. teaching there? Oh, now? absolutely. Okay, great. And Mike was one of your students. He was my teacher, right? yeah. In 1990, yeah. It must be really gratifying to see your stu one of your students go on and, and do so well, huh? Yeah, he's still a skinny kid. He was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's great. It's and just a great thing. Part of your trip back home was to go back to your alma mater, right? And, yeah, we and actually was there yesterday morning. And we, we made a bunch of gumbo, uh, and uh, I'm going back this yeah. afternoon. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Fantastic. 630, uh, yeah. 6.30, uh, our, my class... We were, and we're doing seafood. This is our seafood unit. Uh, they gave Mike their full attention, and um, that they did. Mike made gumbo with our kids. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. So, are you going to teach us how to make it now? Well, yeah. Well, I'll tell you all about it. It's um, it's a you know in New Orleans, in New Orleans uh, everybody's got a different gumbo. Just like in New England, we right. have uh, different chowders at a restaurant, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody's got a little different recipe. Uh, this is mine, and. Uh, the foundation of Creole cooking, as I was talking to the students yesterday, is uh, bell pepper, onion, and celery. We call that the Trinity. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and is that in just about everything? Everything Kevin? starts with that. Yeah. And, and and you're not really committed to your dish until you add something other than this could be jambalaya, it could be etouffee, it could be, you know, uh, gumbo, obviously. Um, so we, we saute all this together with some sausage. And then we add a really strong stock, whether it's chicken, if you're making chicken gumbo, or in this case, we use a crab stock. Okay. Uh, and uh, add oysters and you know shrimp. Uh, we have cayenne pepper, thyme, bay leaf, and uh, we always finish everything as far as gumbo wise with a roux, mm -hmm. and which is right here. And the darker the roux, the more flavor you're going to get, the more color you're going to get, and it uh, adds a really great, rich, nutty flavor to it. And, uh, and then you, you just kind of simmer it all day long and and add spices. Like this is spicy and and uh, it's got a good kick to it. So. And we season it up until uh, it's what, done. What makes yours unique, do you think? Which one of these little flavors do you kind of... Well, you know, honestly, it's it's not as unique as, you know, you want it to be. It, it's a gumbo. Okay. Right? And, and uh, <laughs> Meaning, meaning if you get off track too gumbo. far, it's not going to be Right, good. right, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, uh, like somebody at the event yesterday said, hey, you ever add coffee to your gumbo? I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> and we never will. No, no. It's, it's gumbo. It's like, you know, like uh, chowder is, you know. Like, you know, I don't like Manhattan clam chowder. And, right, right. Uh, you know, we. Uh, I was going to ask you how the food scene in New Orleans compares to the food scene in Maine. Uh, well, we've become quite the when I was when I was like here, thing, you, know, you know, 20 years ago, uh, the food scene wasn't anything like it is now. It's mm -hmm. like apples and oranges. Like it's really put itself on the map. I think you know nationally. You know, yeah. with all the great restaurants you have going on. Yeah. I think it's great. Um, and I like to think that uh, we have something to do with that because there's always a constant supply of fresh-faced kids that are trying to get out there and earn a living and and be passionate about cooking. And uh, that's a nice thing. I suppose you want to try some of this. <laughs> and, I, and my wife is from New Orleans, too, so I've had my share of gumbo <coughs> okay, yeah, and right, etouffee right. and everything. So, yeah, I can't wait to try this. You got a little ball there? Yeah, spoons over here. It looks very hot, though, so I might have to wait. Want to let you do that. Mike, you're going to be at the uh, the uh, savory samplings of the marketplace tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah. Doing yeah. some grilling demonstration. Grilling demonstration. Uh, 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 kind of a tailgate-type menu with a uh, uh, great you know, sausage. Excellent. Excellent. And there are still tickets available for both sessions. One begins at noon and the other at four, and we've got a link on our website for that, too. And I understand you brought your gumbo recipe, recipe yeah, with us, right? Oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be. I still need oh, to yeah. type it up because we're just getting it from you now. So later right. this morning, you'll be able to get the recipe for this. Oh, man, oh my gosh, look, look at, at that. that. Big yeah. chunks of sausage and oysters. And, and mm. what you do is you put a little rice in, and then you put a rice. Yeah, it kind of yeah. cuts the heat down and gives you some starch at the same time. And, All right. And, 
and uh... Now let me ask, how are we doing on time? Well, so are we okay? Do we have time to let this cool so we can take a bite, or should we take uh, a break and come back and try it? I'm not hearing any of that. I guess we'll take a break. We'll be back with Kevin's oh, forecast. <laughs> and uh, right now, here's a look at what's coming. I won't be back. At no. 7 o'clock. <laughs> mm.